If you're working with the Prisma ORM and you've got data that is related from one table to the next, you might not give a whole lot of thought to how that data gets tied together under the hood. So for example, if you've got an author table that has a related post table, when you go to query for authors and get their posts, you might not really consider how that data gets tied together. And until version 5.7 of Prisma, there was only one way that this was done, and that was with application level joins. So what would happen under the hood is we would send a query for authors and we would send another query for posts, and the ORM would then tie that data together and return it. So let's take a look today at how we can use database level joins in our Prisma queries from version 5.7 and beyond. We've got a schema set up here for ourselves. We've got author, we've got posts and category as well, but we don't yet have a database. Why don't we get a database set up really quickly with Prisma Postgres. So over at console.prisma.io, we can start a new project. And what we'll do is we'll call this one relational joins. Let's get started with Prisma Postgres. We'll leave US East as the default and we'll create that project. All right, so that's going to spin up. It's provisioning now. Let's grab our API key. So our database key and our Pulse API key. Let's grab that down here. Let's go back over to the project, over to .env, and we'll take out what we had here that was put in by default, and we'll paste in those keys. Let's go check the status of things here. We are connected, so Prisma Postgres is ready to go. Prisma Postgres is a serverless database. It's got no cold starts, and it's free to get started. It's in early access now, and once at general availability, there will be a very generous free tier as well. All right, so let's run migration so we can get everything wired up in the terminal npx prisma migrate dev. All right, so the name is init. All right, so the migrations have been applied. We've got some C data here in seed.ts. Let's go ahead and apply that, npx prisma db seed. Great, so we've got some data created. Why don't we take a look over here in our studio so that we can make sure we've got that data coming through. So Prisma Studio directly here in Prisma Postgres, we can view our data just like this. So what we've got here, we've got our authors and then the related posts and related categories to those posts. And what we might do now is over here in our server.ts file, we could go in and we could do a query. So something like const posts equals await prisma post find many. That looks good. Maybe we include the author here. So author include that. That's true. Should be ready to go. Let's log this to the console. Console.log our posts. And what we can do now is npm run dev. All right, so there is our data coming through. Things are nested in the fashion that we expect. We've got authors that are related to posts, so that's kind of the typical behavior that we're expecting. Why don't we take a look to see at the query that's happening under the hood though? So let's remove this. We'll remove the console.log on our posts. Let's bump into Prisma clients up here and let's put log query so that we can see what's happening under the hood. And so what we can see here is that we've got two queries that are happening. We've got one where we're querying for our posts and another where we're querying for the authors. These are two separate queries. In fact, why don't we make this look a little bit better? Let's just copy all of this over to table plus to the SQL editor there. And the reason to do this is because we can get a better view of it. We can easily beautify this text in table plus if we click beautify. And so we can see what's going on. We're doing a select on our post table. Then we're doing a select on our author table. And it's the ORM after this point that is tying all this data together and giving it to us in the nested fashion that we see when we log it out to the console. Now, as of version 5.7 of Prisma, we can actually let the database itself do the join work. So if we want to opt into that in our queries that we make with Prisma, what we can do is first go over to our schema. Now let's go over to our client and we'll grab a preview feature of relation joins. So let's save our schema. Then just before we do anything else, we'll do npx Prisma generate to pick up those changes. All right, so the latest is generated. Now over where we do our queries, let's see how to use this. So in our find many, what we can do is we can specify the join strategy that we want to use. And so that looks like this. We can grab relation load strategy and we can call it join. And that's going to use database level joins in this case. So let's save our work here and we'll do npm run dev to get our queries logged out again. And this time what's logged out is a single query and it looks much different. Let's grab this and we'll paste it over into table plus to see what's going on. 
So let's beautify that. And so what we've got here is a select statement. We're selecting on our post table, and then we're using the database's left lateral join to go and get the associated authors. And in particular here, we're using something called JSON B build object. And what's interesting about this is it's going to allow the database to do the work of formatting things as JSON in the format that we want and putting it together with our post data. There might be some cases where we want to use application level joins though. And so what we can do for that is we can either leave this blank or we can say we want to do query for that. And if we opt into query, well, we get these two queries that are made to go and get our data. Just to really solidify what's going on if we're using our application level joins, if we get something like categories and we do category find many, and let's say we want to include posts there, post true, and let's do this, relation load strategy, let's make that query. We'll save that, and just so we don't clutter things up here, let's comment out posts, we'll run this again. And so what's happening now is we're doing three queries, and that's because this is a category to post kind of query. So we've got this pivot table set up because we've got a many-to-many -many relationship. So we're doing three queries here, one for category, one for the relationship between category and posts, and one for posts, so we can put all of that data together and return it. So the way to opt into database level joins is to specify in relation load strategy that we want to use join like this. That's going to issue a database level join when we do our query work. If you're looking for more ways to optimize performance with Prisma, you might want to check out Prisma Accelerate. So that's part of the Prisma data platform and it provides a caching strategy that is going to allow you to reduce the latency in your applications. So you can check out Prisma Accelerate, Prisma Postgres, and other items as well at console.prisma.io. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us. We're at prisma.io on the web or at Prisma on Twitter. Thanks for watching.